Hi everybody, my name is Chris Wheatley. I'm the CEO of the Flying High Trust. And I just wanna take a few minutes just to tell you who we are, what we're about, and what I feel makes us uh, unique. First thing is we are a primary trust. Um, primary education, zero to 11 really. Uh, and so many different contexts, from the small schools to the larger schools, infant schools, nurseries, uh, rural, inner city. What we've tried to do within our group, an ever-growing group, is create as many experiences and different qualities and different um, expertise levels within our communities uh, of schools so we can actually use the talent that we spot to support other schools in similar contexts. And the more context we have, therefore, the more expertise uh, we have. Um, we also have, as a trust, a, a real strong belief in collective responsibility. So we don't want to be a faceless organisation. We want to know the children in our organisations, our schools, but also the, the staff and also the community, which sometimes is quite difficult. So the communication with our communities is really, really important to us and something that we are uh, trying to learn more about and trying to improve at uh, all of the time. Also with collective responsibilities, we want to feel every success our schools have as an organisation, almost like a family. Uh, any difficulties we have, we want to feel that and enable schools to, to fix them too. So we want to support our schools and have that collective responsibility as we're all in this together. Uh, therefore, we'll feel the difficulties together and we'll celebrate the successes together too. Um, so we need to, we need, want this to be a, uh, everybody feeling that they're getting value from being in a collective. So that is fundamental to what we are trying to do uh, too. Finally, uh, in terms of what we're all about, we're a trust that's based on school improvement. You will have heard some academy trusts talk about cost savings, economies of scale, etc. And yes, we look at that. But primarily, we're about improving schools. That's why we started this. I'm a, a, an ex-head teacher who relied on other schools with expertise to come and support my school to be as outstanding as it possibly could. And it's using that, that mantra really to, to improve schools and learn every day based in school improvement. That's the heart of what we do. So we want to learn every day because we've never got it nailed. We've never got this fixed. And by actually learning all of the time and not thinking you've got it sorted is what keeps you growing. And that therefore you're striving to be outstanding every day, not just when Ofsted turn up and tell you you might be. Now, also fundamental and something that I think is important for you to know um, is that what makes us different, I believe, um, as a multi-academy trust. And the one thing that I think has been talked about quite a lot uh, is how well we know our children. Um, so even though we are an ever-growing organisation, we know our children really, really well. And the central team that work within our trust are in our schools. So lead practitioners, uh, head teacher pluses that go and do some support, and me, myself. You will find the central team are working within our schools, knowing our children effectively, because we want, them, we, we want one of our mantras, which we talk about a lot, um, to be, it's a trust based on relationships and therefore we have something, a, a phrase that we talk about uh, treating everybody differently. You actually treat them the same um, because every child is different and they have different backgrounds, different barriers, different difficulties. Uh, and what our job is to navigate them through that, helping them to overcome whatever barrier it may be and to enable them therefore to have a massive amount of aspiration without any dream unreachable. And you only do that and create equality within our children uh, by enabling everybody to be treated differently because every child is different. And again, every member of staff is too. So we have that mantra too with our staff to enable our staff to uh, keep on growing and understanding what uh, continual professional development they need uh, to enable them to be exceptional at the job in which they do. But that's something that underpins us. So knowing our children. The second part of, of our USP, I believe we know our schools exceptionally well. We're a, we're a trust that's based on, as I said, school improvement. And you can only do that if you've got the capacity within your schools to improve the ones that are not doing so well uh, currently and to push those on that are doing particularly well to do brilliantly every day. So it is that kind, you can only do that if you know where your schools are. So it is fundamental to what we're doing, knowing our schools. So therefore we can know how to fix and support uh, but also how to share, innovate and grow to enable all of our schools to be uh, as fantastic a place as they can possibly be. And the third part, what makes us different, I believe, is we know our communities well. I've said we've got a variation in, in contexts and because of that, we therefore know where the barriers are. Um, but 
we drive aspiration in our, our areas and that is kind of fundamental to what we do and therefore we've got to know where the barriers in our communities are to enable that aspiration to be there and we can only do that by understanding our communities supporting them communicating with them uh, and having that two-way understanding and communication constantly which uh, you know, it's it, we, we learn all the time. It's hard or often to get into our communities, the multi-academy trust, but it's something that we are pushing on a daily basis. We do not want to be faceless. We want to be engaging with you. We want you to know us and our staff as well as just the schools. You know, this again is a collective family uh, and you are included in that journey too, in terms of aspiration. I want to finish with something um, that just explains how we judge success in our trust. Um, clearly we are doing very well in terms of external validations with Ofsted's but also results and you know long may that continue but it's not that we're our results based organisation we're a values based organisation and by really having the values underpinning everything that we do results then follow so values what do I mean by values well we judge uh, the success of a child by how many values or kind of the va how well they exhibit the values that are at the heart of our trust. So for example, aspiration, you'll have heard already from what I've been talking about, is a real fundamental value with our, within our trust that we want our children to, to not look at barriers, not look at where they're from and, and backgrounds they might have, therefore it's a, uh, they can't achieve. This is a can-do trust with a can-do culture and therefore the children will talk aspirant they will, they will be aspirational and we'll support them to do that. So aspiration is a massive value that underpins what we do, as well as creativity. You know, we, th there's nothing that's been invented that hasn't been a creative thinker or someone who's made a mistake. You know, we, we want this, all of our schools, be a safe place to make mistakes and, and to make mistakes often because that's when you learn. Uh, even as staff, you know, we say to our staff, please make mistakes, but try not to make them more than once and learn from the mistakes that we do because that is pure learning. So you, can, you can't do that by textbook approach of knowledge, 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 or fact, fact, fact. It's got to be about learning. And, it's a, and that therefore is about risk taking and therefore being the, the exceptional people you can be. So creativity is at the heart of what we have as a value too. Um, responsibility has been crucial. In my years of being a teacher, that was one of the major values I had were knowing that I had an outstanding classroom, giving the responsibility of their learning um, to the children themselves. So the children are leaders within their learning. The teachers are leaders within the organisation. Just because you've got a title doesn't mean you are the ultimate leader if you're the head teacher, for example. Uh, this is permission, not position. So we want to all own what we do. There's, a, there's an ownership to our trust and that means everybody's got a voice and we listen to everybody because um, everybody owns what we're trying to get to and therefore collectively we can do this exceptionally well if it's a non-hierarchical approach and that is another value we want to instill in our children, leadership at all levels. Um, Perseverance is sometimes an overlooked value too, which is fundamental to what we do at Flying High. Why? Because if you want to achieve something great, it's never easy. And so therefore, there's always going to be some step backs that you have or some difficulties to overcome. So perseverance some, is one of the values easy to overlook or certainly to give up on. You know, you'll have heard people saying, oh, just giving up on that. But no, we try and enable our children to push through and to not give up. And therefore, with that, they have that value that they can achieve anything uh, and enjoy the struggle, really, of, of the difficulties in which they may have. Another, and coming to the end of the values, which you have two more. One um, is fundamental, certainly for me, when I was growing up, and that's confidence. And I've heard so many adults tell me about this one. Because you know, with confidence, you've got the ability to take on the world. You've got ability, as long as it's not arrogance, and we need to teach that. Uh, but it's the confidence to be able to think, you know what, I can do that. I can do that. And with the perseverance I've got, uh, with the enjoyment, the creativity I've got, and that aspiration, you can do something extraordinary in your life. Um, we want that to clearly be around enjoyment and fun. You know, this is a trust based on relationships. Uh, and I know from uh, being a teacher for 25 years, if I bump into children that I have used to, well, adults now, that I used to teach, they never talk to me about the facts I taught them. They always talk to me about the way I made them feel and that relationship we had together, uh, that treating them all differently, you treat them the same kind of approach, and the fact that I invested my time in them to get to know them, and there was a relationship bond between us, and that's what made the learning extra special. So that sense of fun and laughter, you will see and you will hear 
in flying high schools and we want to drive that right the way through every school we have. And finally, pride. And that's being proud of who you are, where you're from and use that in a positive kind of way to create character and then develop and be whoever you want to be in the future. Never be, never be downhearted or 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 have it as a too big a barrier that you have been, you were in an area that you think this is something that I can't do, or there's too many barriers. Use your perseverance, break through that, understand who you are and where you are, and it will make you the person you're going to be in the future. And that's what we want to be able to create in this trust. Parents that are confident that their children will achieve their potential and maximize those potential. And we will work every day to enable that to happen for you.